holidays to our people. And we're here to talk, to uh, sing two songs. And let's see if uh, we. Oh, it's a prayer song. And the second is a, a love song. And we do that in honor of uh, Senator John King, a man who uh, has supported Indian country in his time in the Senate. A man that uh, has, is a warrior and has fought for all of us. And we're, uh, we're so appreciative of his uh, support, his wisdom, his courage, and to have Chad Bochow uh, speak to the meaning of the song. <coughs> Uh, I would just like to, I would like to take this time to thank our tribal leadership and our cultural leaders to, uh, to express our appreciation to who we understand to be a, a true American patriot uh, in the line of the family tradition, his father and his grandfather. Um, John McCain once, once mentioned to me that the only way uh, uh, America could hold its head up is if it, in fact, honored the treaties with the, with the Indian tribal governments. And that helped me understand the meaning of the word honor. Um, we would like to express our, our appreciation to uh, Senator McCain, uh, his wife Cindy and the family um, were uh, very closely uh, um, associated to uh, Eric Eberhard and Lindy uh, uh, Denny Miller and his wife Sandra. So, where we would like to be able to um, represent their interests as well. Uh, I was taught by uh, Lyda Colfax the meaning of the song, is Papado's love song, was a younger man was being raised along the Strait of Juan de Fuca by his grandmother, and it was time for him to attend to his. Uh, annual rounds on the, on the ocean to uh, secure uh, winter supplies of food, of, uh, of halibut and fish. And his grandmother was concerned that uh, he wouldn't return because the ocean oftentimes isn't a, uh, a safe environment to work. But what the grandson expressed to her was, um, grandmother, don't worry, I, I will see you again, I, I, I promise. And she mentioned to him, but you're going so far away from me. How do I know you'll come home? And he was able to express to her that their love for one another was so true and so pure that he was able to make the promise that he would in fact see her again. So we call this Indian medicine and this is what we want to share with Senator McCain and his family and help them, help them through this period and knowing that they uh, having true hearts and true belief that they will see each other again. Yo.
Senator uh, John McCain, uh, Nathan Tyler, Chairman Macaw Tribe. Uh, my Indian name is Chilup. Chilup means warrior. I'd like to, uh, on behalf of the Macaw Tribe, wrap you in our love, our prayers, our thoughts and prayers, and just our gratitude. You are a true warrior. You have been a true warrior to Indian country and to the country, so we appreciate that. Um, I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I served in the first Gulf War and also Somalia. Um, we had a gentleman named Lance Kalapa who uh, had a prophecy who said our macaw that go to war, that fight on foreign soil, they'll all come home. And they all have come home to this day. We haven't lost a, a, a macaw on battlefield. So just on, on behalf of the Macaw Tribe, we appreciate all the work you've done for this country and also for Indian country. So to the John McCain family, Senator McCain uh, from the Macaw Tribe, we love you and uh, we wrap our love in you and we'll keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you.